moment of truth hey y'all welcome back to my youtube channel so if you click this video that means you are as curious as i am wondering why we spend 20 dollars for a beauty blender meanwhile you see other people sell about five or six beauty blenders for five dollars or three dollars so we're gonna test the 20 dollar beauty blender the popular one and we're gonna test this beauty blender um zero percent latex um blending sponge that i got from amazon so this one is six in the packet and i bought this for about five dollars and of course you guys know this one is twenty dollars what is so special about this beauty blender that i have to pay twenty dollars for meanwhile you know other people sell about five or six of them for less like way less than twenty dollars you guys will decide if you want to spend twenty dollars for this beauty blender or if you want to spend five dollars for six beauty blenders all right i'm just gonna focus today on the foundation which is where we mostly use our beauty blenders okay so the right side like i said i'm gonna use this um 20 dollar beauty blender and let me take out this one and the reason why i got this because it's zero percent latex for some reason i'm a little bit allergic to latex mostly on my eye so i'm like let me just get the zero percent the zero percent latex let's compare the two you see the two right here if you notice this one is smaller than this one i'm gonna go ahead right now to damp the beauty blenders both beauty blenders have been damped and of course this has increased in size but it's not a huge increase and of course this still has increased in size but if you notice this one is still bigger than this one did i talk about the softness so this one is a little bit softer than this one because this one feels more dense so it's thicker it feels more dense this one feels lighter and the surface area this this one looks more spongy i don't know like it looks more like there are holes in it and this one looks like there's less holes it's more covered i don't know if i make sense in my explanation i'm gonna apply my fenty beauty foundation before i do that let me just quickly prep my face and I'm just going to apply my foundation on here because I just like to just take the product from from either my skin or from here. I'm going to go ahead with the $20 beauty blender. As I tap it, it looks like it's absorbed well and let's see. Okay. So it's blending just fine blending just fine how many pumps did i put i think i put like four pumps and i still have some more here i think i dabbed it twice and i used it you know i haven't gone back for more product and it spread so well use this other beauty blender for the other side okay I don't think there was enough left a little bit more so I'm gonna put two more pumps a little bit more and add here I mean both of them blend well for sure the $20 beauty blender is softer I think with the $20 beauty blender it carries it carries more and it spreads more on your face because once as I you know dab the foundation in, I see the way it absorbs into the sponge and then it spreads better. Alright. Yeah, a darker one. Put it over here. Over here. So I'm gonna use the $20 now to blend my concealer. Then the right side. Okay. So I like I like this one because of the sharpness. Like the sharpness makes you get right inside your eye corner. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to use a $1 beauty blender blend this side. Okay. 
so one thing i will say that i've noticed is this beauty blender absorbs more product meanwhile the 20 dollar beauty blender like it applies more product so it doesn't absorb it it just spreads it this one absorb more product so another thing is this one is not as sharp the tip of it is not as sharp as a 20 dollar beauty blender so you have to like squeeze it to get in the eye corner to blend the concealer in and this one i think i don't know what it is the other beauty blender i don't know if it's because of the surface area of the beauty blender it blends my foundation inside my pores where it like closes my pores but this one it makes the product sit on it and like you can see like holes i don't know if you guys can see like holes inside you guys see this so it doesn't blend the foundation inside the holes to cover those holes i know sometimes you need a good primer to cover the holes but this other beauty blender you don't see so much holes in this one compared to this one i feel i have more concealer in this side than this side. i'm gonna contour my face so i'll just apply the contour on my arm because i don't want those harsh harsh lines then i'm gonna use a 20 dollar beauty blender to contour apply the contour okay i'm gonna use this other one let's see what do you guys think you know me doing the makeup and you guys watching probably you guys might see what i don't see so comment below if you guys see any difference i haven't noticed with the 20 dollar beauty blender i don't think like i have to like press hard on my skin because it's so soft now i'm gonna go ahead with the setting powder to apply the setting powder but before i do of course i need to just make sure i get rid of any crease under my eye moment of truth for the setting powder i'm gonna use the huda beauty mini setting powder and apply setting powder okay it took the product well and it set my under eye well so i think the other beauty blender took the product well because like it absorbed the setting powder well and it spread this one is like it sits on it so it's like you have to be careful so it doesn't fall off Oh. Okay. Okay. I think he applied what? I think they both applied the setting powder well. Hmm. I think this one picks up more product as his setting. But the twenty dollars spreads more. You cannot really know the difference. Like when you just do your makeup, you won't really know the difference until like you like compare and really look into it. This is all I use my beauty blenders for. The rest of the makeup I want to use my brush. I don't want to um, drag this video with you know the rest of the makeup. So bottom line is this one is softer, which is good. This one is soft, but if you compare the two, this one is softer. This one is more dense, you know, it's thicker. This one is less dense and you know it's softer. The tip is sharp, you know, that you can really enter the corners. This one, because it's thicker, you have to like press it to get right into the corners. I think this one um like it absorbs enough product and spreads the product around. It doesn't um absorb the products as it's spreading this one on the contrary this one i think it absorbs the product so when you're blending it picks up more products and it feels like you need to apply some more product on your face if you care so much about how much product um the beauty bear absorbs i think you should do this 20 dollars but if you really don't care so much because it's really not not a big difference then you can use this one so now is the moment of truth which i'm gonna cut this beauty blenders to look at the inside to see 
you know how much product each of them have absorbed here is a moment of truth okay okay so this is the 20 dollar beauty blender this is the inside honestly it hasn't really absorbed so much product i hope my thing doesn't blur me out i hope it focuses on the beauty blender let me see guys let me make sure it hasn't really absorbed so much product let me call this 20 dollar blender to see if he has absorbed so much product ah, to cut it is like it's harder like like i said it's more dense so it's harder to cut this one absorbed more product you see the inside i hope it focuses see the two see this as you guys have watched this video now it's up to you to decide if you want to spend 20 dollars to for a beauty blender or if you don't mind you know the little product absorption here and there and you spend just five dollars for about six beauty blenders i personally i will buy the um the six beauty blenders for five dollars just so i have it but i also have the 20 dollars beauty blender for those days that i want to make sure that my foundation my makeup is flawless like you know the blending is flawless then i'll use the 20 dollar but for my regular you know application makeup application i'm going to use the cheaper version honestly but it's up to you to decide comment down below which one you choose 20 dollar or less than one dollar and thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't thumbs up to this video if you liked it please do give me a thumbs up moreover join the beauty community and i will see you guys in my next video this is cha cha